welcome to another Copperland workshop video. Today we're going to discuss welding equipment, duty cycles of the equipment, and why it's important to know your duty cycles. When you're getting into any kind of industry, you want to know what your equipment is capable of doing before you buy it. A duty cycle is probably the most important thing when you're determining if you want a piece of equipment that you use part-time or for hobbies or if you're going to use the equipment for industry. So today we're going to take a look at three machines. The first machine is Northern Tool Hybrid MIG TIG and stick machine. That's three processes. The second machine is an AHP Alpha TIG and stick. And then the third machine is in a Vortec 5X, which means there are five processes in this machine. And the processes are AC TIG, DC TIG, AC stick, DC stick, and plasma cutting. So that's five functions. Now when you're looking at purchasing a machine, you have to say, what am I going to use this for? Now, with the Northern Tool, since it has a MIG gun and a spool gun that come with it, obviously you can do, you'll want it for you know, MIG processes, you can do a lot with the MIG. You have a TIG gun, or a TIG option that you can purchase, and that'll do DC TIG welding. This is strictly a DC machine, this is not for welding aluminum with TIG, although you can weld aluminum with the spool gun, but not with the MIG gun. Since this is a DC only system, it's the smallest and lightest of the three. Now this unit is only 44 pounds, and you can see from looking at the inside of it, there's relatively little electronics in here. For cooling, you have fan cooling, and right in front of the fan, you have your power electronics behind this green board. It's a big heat sink in there, but it's relatively small as far as welders go because it's only a 200 amp DC machine, so it doesn't need a lot of heat sink to cool parts. It's just a medium cooling. Now the other thing with this machine, we're going to take a look at what is its rating for duty cycle. Its output range is 30 to 200 amps DC and the duty cycle is 30 percent. Now duty cycle means the welding cycle is 10 minutes. A 30% duty cycle on this machine means you can weld at the maximum amperage of 200 amps for 3 minutes, 30% of 10 minutes. Then you've got to stop, turn the machine off and let it cool down. Or you can leave the fan on and the fan will cool it even faster. But you have to stop welding. Now if you turn your amperage down or you're using your guns at a much lower amperage, let's say 100 amps, your duty cycle could be more like 60 percent and that would be six minutes out of a 10 minute welding cycle. And then if you're only using say 60 or 70 amps at the most, you can weld all day long with that 100% duty cycle. So 30% has always been the industry standard 
30 to 35 percent is considered the old industry standard, like when they were using strictly transformer welding machines. 30 to 35 percent, even as low as 25 percent, was considered the standard. So this machine would be considered the standard for the old specs. Now today, you get into an AC-DC TIG machine, like the AHP Alpha. It also does stick, AC-DC stick. So it's really four functions on this. Since it is AC, as well as DC, there's a lot more electronics in the box. Now the the new standard, these are these new inverters go by the new standard which is 60 percent duty cycle. This will weld at 60 percent of its maximum 200 amps, so six minutes out of ten minutes at the maximum 200 amps. Then if you go down to say 155 amps, if you're only operating at 155 amps, you can weld all day long with it at 100%. Now an interesting thing about these new machines is they have a pulse feature on them, which we'll get into in another video. They have a pulse feature that allows you to pulse your welding amperage, so that pulsing will then extend your duty cycle and do a few other very interesting things with your weld. But it makes, uh, it makes welding a whole lot easier if you're using the pulse feature. So this machine weighs 67 pounds and it has, like I said, a 60% duty cycle at 200 amps. Now when we get over to this machine, which is the Avortec AV5X, this is a 250 amp machine. You can see by the heat sink, which is this component right here, this is your heat sink. You have a big heat sink here and an even bigger one on the other side for dissipating a lot more heat. With your AHP you have two heat sinks up here for your primary circuit, which are medium size. But you have two much larger heat sinks for the output stage. On the Avortec your amount of heat sinking is even more than what you have over here in the AHP because you're working with 250 amps and again that's a, according to the book, it's a 60 percent duty cycle at 250 amps. And the weight of this machine says 60 pounds the alpha is, it says 67 pounds, so about the same weight. The thing that really increases the duty cycle on these machines is the cooling. On the alpha you've got a fan up here on the primary and you've got a fan down here on the secondary two medium-sized fans. On the Avortec you have one very large fan cooling a tunnel that's comprised of two very large heavy heat sinks. Another difference between these two machines is that the Alpha uses all discrete IGBTs for your power control and both the in the primary and the secondary 
These are all discrete parts. On the Avortec, you use some discrete IGBTs, but then you've got these large ceramic IGBT modules that handle all of your secondary or welding power. So again, very large power modules on very large heat sinks to handle all that heat. But again, you got to watch your duty cycles and stick to the duty cycles. You can only weld six minutes out of ten with either of these two machines. Now, another interesting thing about any inverters, I've looked at a lot of the different inverters and uh, I've seen a lot of videos about different machines. A lot of them are really noisy. They have really, really noisy fans. These three machines are relatively quiet compared to a lot of them I've seen. A lot of the higher priced uh, popular machines are very noisy. To give you an idea of how much noise they create, I'll turn the alpha on and you can see what the noise level is like. Relatively quiet. You can still talk, you can hear. In some of the videos that you look at, you can't even hear people talking in the same room. The fans are so loud. So this is pretty quiet. Now, when it comes to power, the Northern Tool, which is a very portable machine, requires a 220-240 plug. The Vortec requires a 220-240 voltage input. One of the reasons I really wanted to uh, pick up an AHP is that it's a dual voltage system. It has both a 220 plug, that's your 220-240, but it also has an adapter that allows you to plug it into 110. So I can use this machine up here in my electronics shop to do brazing, welding, right up here in my shop just plugging it into the wall and it still gives me 150 amps of output which is good for just about anything. So that covers the boxes you can see what's in the box. At home, do not take the covers off your boxes unless you're an electronics technician. There are voltages in here that can kill you if you touch the wrong thing. So do not take these machines apart unless you are a qualified electronics technician. They're deadly. In the next video, we'll discuss the duty ratings of the torches and what you can do with them. And it's really important to stick to the duty cycle that comes with the torch because I've heard of people trying to weld 100% of the time with the TIG torch and they've melted them down, they've blown them up, they've burned them out because they didn't look at duty rating of the torch itself. So next time we'll talk about the torches.